Moving on to another topic now, Mayor Craig, you pointed to crime stats going down while you uh, were the mayor of Manchester. Sometimes statistics don't tell the entire story. Recently, we spoke to the manager of a downtown business who said that they actually stopped calling the police for the problems that were incurring in front of their business because of how often those problems were happening and because the offenders were often released time and again, even after they were arrested. Also, they were afraid of retribution if that person returned. So as the leader of the state, would you confidently tell these business owners crime is down or is there a problem that can be addressed by changing state laws? So statistically, crime is down in Manchester in the time that I was mayor. And I partnered with the Manchester Police Department. You know, when I took office, crime rates in Manchester had been at historic highs. We got to work right away, implementing evidence-based solutions to address crime. We put forward the first gun violence prevention strategy in the city of Manchester. I hired more police officers, or funded, uh, more police officers than any time in the history of Manchester. And these police officers were on foot, building relationships with our businesses and with our community. We hired community health workers to address calls for service that were nonviolent in nature. Uh, but we need to work with our local community to ensure that we are meeting their needs. And so, you know, one of the things uh, that you mentioned was bail reform. Uh, I advocated at the state level, again, with the chief of police for changes in the bail reform because we did see the revolving door of criminals being released after they were arrested, which is absolutely wrong. So I was really pleased to say, see the bipartisan support and bill passed uh, to make changes to that bail reform. Senator, what is your response? Do the laws need to change in the state? Uh, well, uh, the bail law absolutely needs to change, and there were some changes made, but I don't think they go far enough. Why they ever changed the bail law in the first instance makes no sense to me because it created a revolving door of criminals. In fact, I did a ride along with the Manchester Police Department and the officer I did the ride along with, he almost lost his pinky. He lost six months of work from someone who was out, who shouldn't have been out. Uh, and so we are going to make sure that we have a very strong bail law when I'm governor. But I got to tell you, I've heard some, so many business owners, residents downtown, that were concerned about public safety uh, when Joyce Craig was mayor. And yet she spent $2 million in uh, rebranding the city instead of really supporting public safety, which would have made much more sense. In addition to that, uh, you know, during her tenure, she cites the statistics on the 40 percent, but murders were up 250 percent. So, you know, people in the city, it's important. And I appreciate the work done by the Manchester Police Department. They are working very hard. The other issue we have to get at is the recruitment and retention of police officers in this state. We need to improve their retirement system. We need to improve the laws so that Manchester can have enough officers, but also we can have enough troopers. Mayor, you were invoked there 30 seconds. Uh, yes, you know, again, uh, Kelly Ayotte is misinforming the public. Uh, I worked incredibly hard and partnered with the Manchester Police Department, and uh, we saw an improvement in public safety, and we need to do more. We absolutely need to do more. And when it comes to their retirement, it was unfair, the changes that were made, and as governor, I'm committed to making sure uh, that we make uh, do better and bring that back. Uh, we need to make sure that we are retaining and attracting police officers. And I will just respond to one of the comments that she made. Chief Aldenberg has said, there was pretty much nothing that he asked for that I didn't provide as mayor. Public safety was my top priority, and I appreciate all of the hard work that the Manchester Police Department did to keep our communities safe. Mayor, Senator, 15 seconds, we're moving on. Uh, let me just say this. Uh, the stories I'm telling you about are from people in Manchester and business owners downtown that did not feel that they were safe, and it wasn't because of the police also because the homeless encampment and then she wouldn't make the decision when they should be moved and they should we get, get them in housing in other areas rather than interfering Senator, with people's rights that's downtown. a topic we covered already